how to make a really easy wrap bouquet. This is called the 54321 method. It's probably the simplest way you can ever make a wrap bouquet. And I really love this method because it's super beginner friendly. I actually learned how to do this 54321 wrap bouquet method. I learned how to do this in Atlanta. So today I'm gonna to just be teaching you guys the tips and tricks that I learned while I was at the conference in March. And this has just been like a really easy way to make a wrap bouquet. It's very simple. So I get a lot of questions on my channel asking me like, what do I do with my leftover flowers? Is there anything that I can do with the leftover flowers that I have from any of my like events with my weddings? Um, this is a really easy way that I use my leftover flowers and I'm able to recycle them and able to actually make more money after my event. So any flowers that I have left over, I actually make them into wrap bouquets and then I just try to sell them throughout the week. So it's just a nice easy way to reuse some of the old flowers that you may have left over from your previous events. Um, it's also just really nice to know how to make a pretty wrap bouquet for like your friends if you want to give this to like a gift or something. So yes, so without further ado guys, let's get into it. Let me teach you how to make a really easy wrap bouquet. So like always, I'm going to just go through some of the materials that I'm going to be working with today just so that way you guys can get more comfortable with your flowers and you know what's what. So I'm going to just start here. We're going to be using a spray rose today. We've got some really pretty pink roses and I really like these guys. These are gorgeous. We've got our filler flower. We've got our Monte Casino today. Now we've got two different types of foliage today. We're going to be working with some of this Salau here, lemon leaf. Got two different names here for those of you who are confused. And we've also got this beautiful Pitsaporium. So this is, this is nice. All right, and I've got a couple of other blooms, but I'm gonna wait till the end and show you guys what I'm gonna do with those later. And you're gonna want at least three different types of wrapping materials. So I recommend some cellophane, so this is just like plastic wrap essentially. So this is just gonna help wrap and protect your flowers. Um, I recommend getting like some type of tissue to work with. And last but not least, if you have the opportunity and you can find some brown craft paper, I recommend you get some of that as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by working in the corner of the wrapping paper and cellophane. And you're just gonna to wanna to layer down five stems of Salal first. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take some Pitsaporium. So this is our other type of foliage here. And we're just going to be putting down five, four stems of the pit. So we got one, two, no, three, four. Okay. So now you've got a good base for your flowers to sit in. So this is good. I'm going to be working with these roses. And these are going to just be our third element. So we're going to add three roses and we're going to evenly space them throughout our arrangement here. So I like to work in triangles. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to be pulling off any of the gross petals here. So I'm just going to be pulling them off from the base. And we're just going to be cleaning up our roses and removing all the guard petals, any petals that may have gotten beaten up. So now she's clean and beautiful. Now I'm going to be equally spacing my roses throughout my arrangement and I'm just going to be placing one in the center and then placing two on either side. Okay, now this is just going to give us like a nice balance and base for the rest of our flowers to sit in, but this is a great start. Next, we're going to take two pieces of filler here and you're going to just place those fillers in between the roses here so i'm going to place one filler here and one piece of filler here it's going to be a nice accent flower 
Now, last but not least, I do have one spray rose. I'm just going to stick right in the center. So this is our final element here. And we're going to stick it just like that. And again, I always really want to work on the corner, so I really want to make sure I have this nice triangle here because that's really going to help us get our flowers in a nice corner. And what you're going to do is you're going to just grab the base like this. You're going to grab the cellophane first, and you're just going to crunch everything towards the center here. You really want to make sure this top area is like nice and full and fluffy and has some breathing room. Okay. Now you're going to take your cellophane here and you're just going to wrap it. Now we're not going to like scrunch it and wrap it like that. We're actually just going to pancake it, I like to call it. And it'll make sense in a second, just bear with me. So you're going to take this and you're just going to fold it over just like that. Okay. So we still have our nice tight center here and up here the cellophane's really loose still, so that's good. I'm just going to flip it over one last time. And with the rest of the cellophane, we're just going to crunch the cellophane and gather it at the bottom here. So this is nice because the top of our arrangement is still nice and open and loose, and the bottom is nice and tight. So that's good. Then I just like to take a stapler like this one, and I just like to staple the uh, stuff together, cellophane, so that way it doesn't come undone. Now, last but not least, if anything got moved around while I was wrapping, I just like to adjust. So I'm gonna have to pull this back, maybe bring this rose up front here. You know, just make things look a little bit more visible and beautiful. All right, now you can take it a step further and you can wrap it in the tissue paper and the uh, craft paper here. So we are gonna do that so I can show you guys. So here's your finished product here. So it's just a couple of blooms wrapped up with some greens. And I really feel like the craft paper and the tissue paper here really help make it feel a little bit more elevated. So the point of the uh, cellophane here is just to protect your flowers from the paper um, as it moves around and gets transported. So that's what that's for. But other than that, this is how you do a really easy 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 replicate method. Now you could simply just leave the bouquet like this and sell it as is. But for those of you who want a little bit more flair and style, stick around and I'm gonna show you how to add a little pizzazz. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to make like an upgraded wrap bouquet. So because you already have a good base started from the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 method, now you're just going to be adding additional blooms in odd numbers. So I like to work in twos, threes, fives, sevens, nines, etc. I know two isn't an odd number, but um, it looks good when you group like flowers together. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make an upgraded wrap bouquet now. So what I'm going to be doing first here is I'm just going to be adding blooms and I'm going to be grouping things in twos, threes, fives, and sevens. So what I'm going to be doing here is just to give it a little bit more height, I'm going to be adding some of this Bells of Ireland. And I'm just going to be placing this in the back of all of my other flowers. I'm just going to have this kind of stick out the top corner here. Okay. Um, I also have some of this like wheat grass stuff here. And I'm just going to be adding this to the other side just to balance out this side from this side. find that when I group things, it looks like a lot of it, even though it's not. So I'm just going to kind of cluster that together, just like that. Perfect. Again, just going to be grouping my like flowers together. And I like to keep the nets on these guys when I get them, just because they're very fragile. 
and I find that it just makes the longevity of these flowers last a little bit longer when you keep the nets on. Now I do have some Alstroemeria pieces that I think I'm going to be adding in today as well. Um, these are just going to help fill in any gaps in our arrangement that we may have. So I'm going to add a piece there, right in the center. I'm taking a little piece off to the side there. Guys, now just like before, we are just going to wrap the bouquet together. So I'm going to grab the ends of the cellophane here. I'm just going to group everything at the bottom. Group, pancake flip. Pancake flip again. So I'm just gonna be adjusting anything that may have gotten moved around while we were doing the flipping process here.